Any comment on the 426 Rubin report where Michael Shermer criticizes Ayn Rand objectives and for kicking people out for liking wrong music and wrong cigarettes? I mean, give me a break. I mean, I like Michael Shermer sometimes, and I guess we're friendly when we meet, but this is bullshit and it's nonsense and it's childish and it's, it's, he should know better and, um, and it, it's, it's amateur. It's amateur hour. You, you know, you don't like objectivism, you don't like Ayn Rand, then criticize the ideas. You like some of it, you don't like other stuff, criticize the ideas. Come on, bring it on. Bring on a rebuttal. Bring on a critique. But this is just bullshit. Kicking out people, why is that a problem? There's some people I don't like. I don't want them in my house. I don't want them in my movement. I don't want them in my organization. Why is kicking out people a bad thing? I, does Michael Schumer willing to partner and cooperate with anybody? If his partner, for example, committed fraud, would he kick him out of the business? Yeah, of course you would. Then why kicking people out, irrespective of why they are kicked out, irrespective of the reason, if it's an intellectual movement, and somebody completely botches, completely botches the ideas, or completely undercuts the ideas, or subverts the ideas, should they be kicked out? Yeah, of course they should be. Why would I associate, like any business, if I have a business partner, and we now have completely different strategies, completely different goals, completely different ideas, should we separate? Absolutely we should separate. There's no virtue in staying together no matter what. So kicking people out is virtuous under the right circumstance. It has to be rational. It has to be good reason. And again, if there's a particular case where somebody was picked, kicked out and you don't like it, Michael Schirmer, let's debate it. Let's discuss why they were kicked out and what it even means to be kicked out. But they're people I don't like. And I don't want to be in the same corporation with them. I don't want to see be in the same intellectual. And this is not what's, what's so unique about objectivism. Public choice theory was founded by two guys who ultimately despised each other and didn't talk to one another for 30 years, didn't cite one another in their papers. That's public choice. Libertarians hate each other's guts. Constantly are fighting. Neoconservatives? Really? I mean, show me one intellectual movement that doesn't, quote, kick people out, doesn't have disagreements, doesn't have fights, doesn't have people not speaking to each other, doesn't have groups that separate out, that have their own journals, that write for themselves and won't publish the other side. I mean, this is intellectual life. People who take ideas seriously, they fight. Big deal. Grow up. I mean, it's only people sheltered within some kind of cluster, cloister that, that are not engaged in the real world where you don't fight. And then kicked out for writing the wrong music. I mean, that is such a cliche and that is simply untrue. Nobody has been kicked out for liking the wrong music. Kicked out of what? Kicked out of where? Just because of the music? There was nothing else going on? There were no other issues? And this wrong cigarette? Really? I've never even heard that one. And I've been around objectivists for, you know, for 40 years. Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> well, objectivists, maybe for less than 40 years. But I've been studying Ayn Rand's ideas for, for 40. I, I first read Ayn Rand in 1977. That's 43 years ago. And I've never heard, never heard even a rumor of somebody being kicked out for liking the wrong cigarette. So stop it, people. Stop it. You don't like Ayn Rand? That's fine. As I said, arguments are great. There's no problem with arguing. But don't, don't make up stuff. Don't trivialize. Take, bring on the ideas. Bring on the critique. What's wrong with their metaphysics? What's wrong with her epistemology? What is it about her definition of reason don't you like? What is it about her theory of concept formation do you find flawed? Do you think rational self-interest makes sense? Which one of the virtues do you disagree with? What about capitalism? God, I mean, she wrote hundreds of, uh, hundreds of articles 
with deep thought of a caliber that, with all due respect to Michael Schirmer, he doesn't come close to. She wrote two of the best, uh, two best-selling novels that have lived way past her lifetime as classic novels for Americans to read. And yet all you can critique about her is she kicked out some people? I mean, luckily I don't swear, because I would now. I mean, Michael Schumer is supposed to be a thinker. He's supposed to be an intellectual. So we want to know, Michael, in detail, in the same detail that, that Ayn Rand wrote about, we want to know. What was she wrong about? What were the problems in objectivism in her philosophy? It's so, eh, I don't want to say any more because Michael Schumer won't speak to me. Not that that's a bad thing, I guess, but um, because, hey, I believe in, uh, I believe in, he might kick me out. Will he kick me out? What, what, what debate between me and Michael Schumer would he host? To talk about whether people were kicked out because of cigarettes? I mean, that would be an insult to debates. I mean, it's ridiculous to debate these things. These people are unserious. You want, you want to debate philosophy? Then let's debate philosophy. But put this stuff to the side. Get rid of it. Yeah, I mean, his books are good. I like Michael Schumer for the most part. But then he descends into some, I don't know what it is. He has a whole chapter in one of his books on, on Ayn Rand, on objectivism as a cult. As a cult. And he can't escape that. That's, and he can't, he won't engage. So, screw him. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. Using the super chat, and I noticed yesterday when I appealed for uh, support for the show, many of you stepped forward and actually... Uh, supported the show for the first time so i'll do it again maybe we'll get some more today um if you like what you're hearing if you appreciate what i'm doing then i appreciate your support uh those of you who don't yet support the show please take this opportunity go to yourronbrookshow.com slash support or go to subscribestar.com your own book show and um and and make a kind of a monthly contribution uh, to keep this uh, to keep this going i'm not sure when the next